If you're studying integration methods right now, here's what you need to know about finding the arc length of a curve. In this question, we have x defined as a function of y, and we're given two points that we want to integrate over through y. So the first thing that we need to do is take the derivative of x with respect to y. That'll give us 1 3rd times 3y squared minus 1 over 4y squared. So if we clean that up, we'll get y squared minus 1 over 4y squared as our dx over dy. Then we can go to our list of equations and pull out the arc length equation when you have x defined as a function of y. You'll know that's the case because we're integrating with respect to dy and we're integrating from y1 to y2. Now we can go ahead and plug in that derivative into our equation as well as the points one and three for the interval. Now this part, there's gonna be a few steps here to sort this out. The first thing that we need to do is expand those brackets. So if we do that, we'll get one plus y to the four minus one half plus one over 16 y to the four. Now we can simplify this a little bit. We have one minus a half, so that's just gonna be a half. And then when we get to this part, this is also gonna look strange, but what we're gonna do is factor this. So if we go ahead and factor this, what this will end up at with is something in brackets squared and then all square rooted. And so that'll let us cancel out the square and the square root. And once we've finally done that, now we get something normal that we can actually integrate. So once we've simplified everything, we'll end up with y squared plus one over four y squared. Now we can take that y squared on the bottom of the fraction and flip it up to the top of the fraction. When we do that, we have to change the power of the exponent to make it negative. And now it'll be a little bit easier to integrate. So once we integrate that, we'll get one third y to the three minus one over four y evaluated from one to three. Now we can plug in our points one and three, and then we'll get our final answer as 53 over six or 8.83.